How's it going guys? Welcome back to Off The Grid. So, we kind of bought something kind of big. We, we bought a truck. So, we spoke about this in the last video. And I thought we, we needed to get something that is going to make the whole logging thing more efficient. And I thought a truck would be nice. So, I went on the old interwebs last night and I found this truck with... A logging trailer and um, phoned up the guy and it's actually the same guy that we rented the yarder from and also a truck and some other equipment as well when we were clearing out um, that big piece of the farm where the fields are now so I went down and had a chat with him and got the money transferred over we paid 30,000 for it which is a lot of money but I guess for what it is it's probably not that much it's in decent condition. I mean, it's had a hard life, but uh, yeah, I think it was a fair price for what it is. It's a Volvo F16 and seems to be running and driving fine. And it seemed to have been pretty well maintained, even though it's had a, a rough life. But um, yeah, I, I think it's a I, I think it's a good move for us here. Uh, it's a lot of money, but I think it's a, a good move because I am planning on doing a lot more uh, logging on the property here. So um, yeah. But I did also um, have a chat with him this morning when I actually went to pick this up. And he might be selling one of his big machines. The, the big tree... Um, I, I don't even know what you call them. They're the big things that we used on, on the property here. Uh, the big logging machine. It sort of cuts the trees and then sort of uh, clears off the branches and then cut, uh, cuts them into... Uh, the right lengths, whatever you set them to. So, um, he, he's gonna be selling one of them very soon. And I'm interested. I, I kinda wanna get that. Because we've got the truck now, I kinda wanna buy that. The problem is, it's, it, it's gonna be expensive. I don't have a definite price yet, but it's a lot more than what we currently have. So, um, yeah, I... I do think it'll be a good investment for us because we've got so many trees on on our property. I think it'll be the right thing to get. I mean, I don't know 100%, but yeah, I, I kind of, I'm leaning towards that. I, I think it'll be a good move for us, but we'll see. We'll see when it comes up. The thing is, I am kind of thinking about selling some stuff anyway, and there's some equipment that we have that we we can get rid of most of it's not of massive value like this here this weight we're just not using this weight um, because we've got a nice uh, two and a half ton weight on the back of the ford there um the log splitter we're using so we'll keep that but then over here i'm thinking maybe we should just sell that snowplow it, it was a sort of fun thing to play with but i don't think we'll actually use it often um, often enough and we kind of need the money right now we can we could always sell it again I mean we just got the thing but we could always um, uh, not sell it again um, buy one again but um, yeah I, I don't think it's gonna be really that useful on the farm here we don't get that much snow so we might end up selling that um, we are gonna sell the small trailer that we've got over at the um, at the house uh, the tiny little trailer that we had the bales in we'll we'll sell that because we don't really need it I think I'm going to sell the side-by-side -side with the attachments. I'm going to sell that because we only really used it for this attachment um, with the logging. But we can get something, well, kind of similar, but that'll fit on the back of the Ford. Um, a stump grinder that'll fit on the back of the tractor. And um, we'll just use that and it'll be cheaper uh, than what this combo is. So... Um, yeah, I, I think we're going to sell this. I was thinking about selling the little Massey, but because it's the, the tractor that we started on the farm here, I want to keep it. Uh, that's definitely not uh, valuable. So I don't think I want to sell it. I think I want to keep that. And it is kind of handy sometimes to just have a second tractor around. It's, even if it's just to sort of run something like um, the yarder that we were running with that. It's quite handy to have a second tractor around, even if we don't use it often. Uh, the truck we'll keep because that's quite handy. And then the pickup truck I'm thinking about replacing. But I don't really know with what yet. Because if we're going to be buying that big forestry machine. Then um, we're not going to have money to replace a pickup truck. So we might just 
hold off on that for a little while. But we'll see. Okay. Um. Disconnect that. And we need to go get the pallet fork because we have got a bunch of stuff over here that needs moving. So we've got corn, potato, corn, potato, sunflower, soybean, corn, and potatoes. So we've actually got quite a bit. So I think, I think we'll be buying pigs soon. Very, very soon indeed. Maybe not today, but very soon. But we need to get that out of the way first. But yeah, otherwise, um, not not much in terms of news. I mean, the it, it's only the day after the last video, so not much happened. I cleaned up the yard a little bit. I sort of moved all of the trailers in there. Our two big trailers are filled with silage, so we will be selling that um, soon-ish. I think probably around December, January, we'll sell that. And that is a good chunk of money sitting there, but I do think that if we want to buy that logging machine, um, we'll, we'll probably have to take a loan. Which I don't really want to do, but if we absolutely have to, I will. I do think, though, that the, the silage will pay off some of that loan. And we do, uh, do still have a lot of logs that we can sell as well. And we're also going to be making a bunch of firewood. So, yeah. Um, I was actually looking at a few different trucks, but that one seemed to be the best option. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, if I'm, if I'm honest. But um, it, it's the best option for us right now. I was looking at some, like, what do they call them? Fixed, fixed? trucks or fixed axle trucks or whatever they call them basically not articulated I, I don't know what you actually call them um but yeah i was uh, drop that angle a little bit that should work better um yeah i, I was looking at some trucks that basically weren't articulated uh, whatever you might call them i don't know but if i get that they basically have the exact same loading capacity as our trailer, our gooseneck trailer over there. So it was like, yeah, I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on a truck that is going to do exactly the same thing. Then, um, or compared to our trailer. So, yeah, I, th I thought, yeah, probably not the the best idea. Right, the pallets, I'm, I'm just going to sort of drop them all in the shed there. I don't really know where else to put them. I pulled out the forage wagon to make room for that. But uh, yeah, it, it does seem like corn and potatoes are pretty easy to grow. Uh, the problem is sunflowers and soybean are very slow. Although it doesn't really matter because the corn and the potatoes will kind of be our base food for the pigs. Uh, the soybean is protein we don't need a huge amount of that and um what was the other one again uh sunflower uh, sunflower might might be relatively important but i think sunflower would sort of give us the same um effect as corn so i don't think that's a big deal either so yeah i, I think we'll be fine i think we'll be okay we might actually change sunflower rather than growing sunflower maybe we'll start growing um wheat because then we can use the wheat off of that for the pigs. And then we're not using the wheat off of the field for the pigs. Because I think they'll use a fair bit of wheat uh, for their sort of grain. And I mean if we have extras we can use it for the chickens as well. Or vice versa. If we have more than enough on this field. Which we are going to be planting today. Then um, yeah. I, I guess we can use that for the pigs as well if needs be. Anyway. I am going to get the rest of these moved and then I'll go get the the cedar ready and we are going to be seeding this field over here finally seeding it with um, wheat so we'll have to seed it and roll it but we'll we'll get these pallets put away first so yeah we're going to jump into a quick time lapse and we're going to get all of this work done so for now sit back relax and enjoy
Alright, that is job done, and that is locking. Beautiful. Really nice. And also the rolling gets rid of the little stones. So that's nice. But yeah, that went well. I enjoyed that. I have been sort of thinking about this while I was seeding. I don't think we're going to have enough wheat though. Because we're going to need wheat for the chickens and the pigs. And I realized that we cannot grow wheat in our vegetable garden over there. I thought maybe we should grow um, barley instead of wheat in there. But we can't grow that either. So this is it. This is going to have to do the pigs and the chickens. And I don't know if it's going to be enough. I mean, it's a relatively big field and we don't have like a massive amount of chickens or pigs for that matter. But um, it might not be enough. So if it's not, we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. If it's not enough, we'll change this field into a wheat field as well. And we'll just keep the big field there for uh, grass, for silage and bales. Although at that point, we'll probably just keep that for bales. With that said, though, we do have a lot of bales already, and the sheep are going through them very, very slowly. So I don't think it's really necessary um, to have, like, a dedicated bale field. Um, I, I think if we just get a few bales off of there once in a while, um, then we'll be good to go. The rest of the time, it can um, be silage. Of course, we will be losing money if we turn that into... Uh, or turn this into a wheat field because we'll be making less silage when we're not making bales. But if we're going to be going into logging a bit more seriously, then um, it, it won't really matter because it, it's going to be small money compared to what we'll be making off of logging. But um, yeah, I mean, still for me, this is all about just having a bit of fun and doing something different. I'm not chasing money here. Um, I mean, we, we've got enough. We've, we've got everything that we sort of need. Now it's more just of kind of what we want. Uh, working towards some just nicer tools and stuff like that. But I don't know. I don't think I'll go like to bigger tractors or things like that. Because we don't need bigger tractors. We might however do a bit more arable uh, all the way down the hill. And uh, next to the pond there. There's quite a bit of space there where we could do a lot more arable. The problem is sort of getting equipment up and down the hill. We, we'll maybe have to end up just leaving equipment down there and building a shed or something. Um, with that said as well, we need to build some sheds up here as well, over at the actual farmyard. We, um, we need to build some sheds. But, um, anyway, we do have a bit of wool, which is great. The, the sheep are sort of doing their thing, which is nice. And, um, yeah, they've got a bit of shade now there. And, well, we've got a few more trees planted in here that'll, um, grow over the next few months. And then pigs will be getting very, very soon. Maybe in the next video we'll get pigs. And the chickens are still sort of doing their thing as well. So that's good. Uh, producing a few eggs. But yeah, I think um, in the next video we'll probably get our pigs. And I also want to sell the rest of those logs. So we'll keep a few over here to make into firewood. We can't make firewood at the moment because we don't have a truck to transport it. Um, because it's full of silage. But I don't want to sell the silage right now because the price isn't great. And I want to hang on to that and get a really good price for it. So yeah, we do have quite a bit of logs here. So we will probably, I don't know if that'll be a full truck load, but we'll get close. Uh, we'll only keep about five logs or so for firewood. But um, yeah, I think that is the plan for uh, next time around. And then after that, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to figure something out. But we are going to leave it there for today, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.